Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to SWF Rebellion. I am, of course, CEO, owner, Grand Puba of SWF, CM Puma. We've got a great show for you tonight. All three of our champions will be in action. Siler Jordan, internet champion. Calypso, our elite champion, and Veronica Haas, our maidens champion, right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's get to the show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in our first matchup of the evening. Introducing first is Ryan Riley. And as you can see with him, the Grand Prix Wrestling Intercontinental Championship belt. He has uh, brought that over from GPW, but Ryan Riley won the Twitter poll as to who would face Siler Jordan in the Internet Champions Open Challenge matchup. Now, the last time we did it, we had Mason Foster, which Siler Jordan managed to get the victory over, but only in that match did he get the victory because after that match, he got pummeled by the Fallen Kingdom, Bruiser Brad and Mason Foster. This week, as we just said, Ryan Riley is gonna face off against the internet champion. We are about two weeks away from our next pay-per-view. Are we gonna have a new internet champion heading into the next one? Who knows? I think I know one person who might have an answer for that. And it's probably not an answer that Ryan Riley wants to hear. The lights go down, folks. That can only mean one thing. The biggest mouth in SWF. He is the new mouth of the South. The thriller, the internet champion, Siler Jordan. Quite vocal on Twitter. You can catch this man um, completely trying to own the internet, which I suppose he does in a way with being that internet champion. But he's coming down to the ring, and before he starts his matchup here against Ryan Riley, you know he's got something to say. So let's uh, let's get in the ring here, Siler, and let's hear let's hear what you're gonna tell us this week. I can only assume it's gonna be a gem. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Siler Jordan, and I am the natural born thriller, and tonight I am pissed. I am pissed right the hell off. And the reason I'm pissed is because I should be in the main event tonight. I should be holding the SWF Internet Championship over my head to end the show, not to start the show. And you know the reason I'm not main eventing tonight? It's not because I'm not great. It's not because I'm not the thriller. No, it's because I am not getting respected. I'm not getting respected by CM Puma. I'm not getting respected by this locker room. You know how many people have come up to me and shook my hand and said, hey man, thank you so much. Because you're here, because of the great things you're doing with this internet championship, we're getting opportunities we never would have gotten. We're getting eyeballs on us we never would have gotten. You're raising this company up and by virtue of you being here, you're raising all of us up. No, I don't get that. I don't get that from any of them. That locker room is nothing but negativity towards the natural born thriller. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the negativity. I'm sick of all the backbiting. And I am sick of the way CM Puma treats me. But you know what? I'm gonna rise above it. That's what I do. I do it for you, the thriller verse. I do it for the thrillions of my fans. And tonight I'm gonna thrill. Unfortunately tonight, I'm facing someone who's not on my level, but that's okay. That's okay because I can make a five-star match with a, with a broom, honestly. Bring a broom in here, I'll put on a five-star match, but 
unfortunately, it's not going to be a five-star match tonight. Not a broom. I got to deal with Ryan Riley. I got to deal with one of the personalities of Ryan Riley. I'm not sure which one, and the truth is, I don't care. And honestly, I doubt any of you care because Ryan Riley. If I had to come up with one word to describe you, it's meh. It's meh. The psycho king, meh. The 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 prodigal one, meh. You know, you, you can do this thing where you put picture after picture of yourself up every week and we all got to look at them. Oh gosh, here, look at me this week. I've got new clothes on this week. Meh. I've got new, I've got a new attitude this week. Meh. I've got new makeup on. Like me now? Meh. You're meh, Ryan. And I'm thrilling. And the fact that I have to lower myself to your level right now and face you in my ring in not the main event is pissing me off to the point that I don't feel safe for you right now. I don't feel like this is going to work out good for you. So please, Ryan, come on down in whatever weird meh outfit you've got and whatever stupid meh idea of what version of yourself you're going to be. Get your ass in this ring and I'm going to kick the living hell out of you. Not because you deserve it. You do. You do deserve it. And not just because these fans deserve to watch it. They do. These fans deserve it. No, because CM Puma, you caused this. What happens to Ryan Riley is on you tonight because you picked him. You picked him to face me. You picked me to not be in the main event. So what happens now is on you. Okay, well, well. Let's get this matchup underway. Ryan Riley and Siler Jordan, and Jordan's going to get the upper hand right away, and into the turnbuckle he goes from one side of the ring to the other. He's going to hook him up. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a move that was. He hooked that arm and that single underhook and then dropped Riley right on his face. Siler Jordan, what's he got going on here? Look at that, a sliding complete shot. As much as uh, Jordan does talk, that is a, that's a great move. And is this, are we already seeing it? Are we, is he locking in the Thromora lock? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay then. Right off the bat, Siler Jordan locks in that Thromora. And Ryan Riley taps out in very quick fashion. What a way to open up the show. Completely unexpected. I really expected a lot more out of Ryan Riley. But Siler Jordan comes out and puts an end to Riley's aspirations, I guess I could say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still internet champion, Siler Jordan. Well, guys, I am still in a bit of shock at how quickly that match came and went. But now we're moving right along here. Lately, these two gentlemen have been at each other. Vice makes his way to the ring. Now, the last time we saw these guys, Leo called Vice out to the ring. Cut, they both scathing promos on each other before Leo McKay left the ring. Well, tonight, they are going to face off. Their first encounter was at Crowning Achievement. They are going to face off here tonight. Let's see who can come out on top. These two guys, probably the, some of the smaller gentlemen here in the SWF. Uh, Leo McKay is 5'11", and Vice is 6'. So just about everybody 
is around six foot. So these guys, some of the smaller fellas. Vice in the ring now. He's going to be waiting for the smallest bruiser, Leo McKay. Now, Leo McKay, I, uh, I really hoped and expected him to go further in the SWF Elite Championship Tournament. This man, no frills, no thrills. He comes in and he fights. This is the smallest bruiser of SWF, Leo McKay. And I'm interested to see how he handles Vice and how Vice handles him. Vice a brawler in his own right. But will these two guys burn the house down? Let's wait and find out. Here we go, folks. Second matchup of the evening. The Haitian Vice, the smallest bruiser, and Leo McKay. Ref, ring that bell. Center of the ring, and these two guys lock up, and it looks like Leo is going to get overpowered right, right now by Vice. The ref getting in there to break him up. Amicable, break, amicable breakup right there. And Leo goes after Vice, but Vice hits him. Nice spinning head scissors. And look at Vice going off one side. Oh, dropping the leg. Again, dropping a second leg. Nice move there by Vice. Quick, quick moves. You got to be fast. Up, frog splash right on. No, Leo scoops out of the way. He's going to pick up Vice now by the hair. Fireman's carry reversal. These two guys really did a great job at the pay-per-view. Hell of a match between these two guys as they bump into each other. Vi Vice gets kicked right in the stomach. Oh! Leo going for the Fisherman, but Vice reverses it into a Northern Lights. And again, leg drops. They had one of the better matches at the pay-per-view at Crowning Achievement. And they just weren't done with each other just yet. Vice with a vicious kick. Oh my goodness. V kicks to the face. And he's going to fold... Leo in half. Vice going right after him, though. Hooks him up. Puts him on the shoulder. What are we going to see? Oh, my goodness. You could kill a man with that, snapping his head backwards. Leo, though, using his head there. Nice move. But Vice right out of it. Reverse DDT. On to the second rope now. Vice... Looks to have Leo McKay in some trouble. No, Leo dodges it. Vice looks to be going for a, a, like a leg lariat of some kind. Holy cow! Leo McKay just throwing Vice around like a sack of potatoes. Leo now, he's going to send Vice across the ring, off the ropes, off of each other. Now Vice takes advantage. Into the corner goes Leo. And it looks... Oh, no. Not the greatest place to be. And Vice going to town with that choke. Man. Vice looks to be in control. Going for a belly to belly, but Leo knocks him out of the way. Misses the kick. Vice gets the kick. He's going to bring Leo up. And oh my God. Oh, jeez. 
Wow. Not only buckle bombed, but straddles the top rope. And Leo, though, fighting through the pain. My goodness. Any A lesser man would have been done for the night. But Leo McKay is a fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Going for the pin now is Vice. Just a one count. My, my. That was pretty brutal. Knee to the kidneys. Shot to the kidneys again. Vice heading out. Trying. Oh, and this time he lands. That springboard leg drop where he missed that springboard frog splash earlier. And another knee right into the kidneys of Leo, of Leo McKay. Holy cow. Let's see if Vice can stay in control here. Into the corner goes Leo. Oh, boy. Spinning him around, and look at this. Up. Bulldog. Rope-assisted bulldog. One hell of a move right there. Not something everybody can do. He's going to roll over the limp body of Leo McKay. And no, a two count. A two count. My goodness. Vice tells Leo to bring it on. Leo just trying to catch his breath at this point. And, oh, playing possum. Leo whips Vice around. Shot to the face. Got him up. Look at the strength. Oh, right into a gut bust. Leo going for the pin. Just a two count. Wow. He can't believe what, what just happened. A two count. Yes, Leo. You got to do more than that. And it looks like he is about to kick to the stomach now. And he's going to hook him up. Face buster right there. That's the move that put Evelyn Reeves away. Ref get down to count right there by Vice's ear. And Vice kicks out at two. My goodness. The fight is pretty large in Leo McKay. But it is just as large in Vice. And Vice scoots out of the way as Leo goes for a tope and misses. Vice is dragging him over. And a moonsault from the second rope. Hooking the leg. Two count. And now Vice doing what he can to get this guy put away. And no, Leo is going to reverse it into a fireman's carry. Got Vice up and a second time right across the knee. Good Lord. Leo is really trying to damage Vice, and you know, look, he's got that arm. Jeez. Come on, ref. He could have broken his arm there. Leo hooking him up. Double underhook into a backbreaker. Very nice move from McKay. Vice now pretty still. And now Leo calling him up to his feet. Are we going to see it again? No. Vice catches the knee, or catches the leg, and delivers a knee to the face. Reversal from, oh my gosh, these two guys going at it, what a sequence. Vice ends it though, nice neck breaker there. Hooks him up, Vice hits that royal palm, and is that going to be it? Is he going to go for the pin off the royal palm? He is. One, two, no. No, Leo not ready to give up. But that can only mean one thing. Vice setting Leo up for Hades' last gift. Butterflies him, gets him up. Pile driver. And Leo McKay just crumbles like his bones have turned to jelly. One, two, three, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner in this matchup, second matchup of the night, Vice with a Hades last gift. My goodness. And Leo's going to slowly roll out of the ring as Vice celebrates the crowd cheering wildly. Leo a little disappointed, it looks like, sitting on the apron there. I think he feels he can do better than tonight.
Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, our maidens matchup for the evening. As I said earlier, all of our champions in action, as we saw Siler Jordan defeat Ryan Riley in our first matchup. We have Veronica Haas taking on Malaysia. Now, Veronica Haas won the Maidens Championship at Crowning Achievement when she faced off against Jessica in the Maidens Championship Tournament Finals. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, your Maidens Champion, Veronica Haas. She wears that belt proudly. She comes down to the ring. That is a huge belt. Or Veronica Haas may be a smaller woman. A smaller maiden, I should say. She won that matchup at Crowning Achievement pretty decisively. And lately she has been on somewhat of a hiatus. Recovering. And celebrating her championship win. That is a gorgeous title, if I say so myself. And oh my goodness. Right into your living rooms, folks. Jeez Louise, this girl is something else. Oh my. She is your maiden's champion, ladies and gentlemen. Veronica Haas. Wow. She waits patiently in the ring for her opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia. Now, Malaysia was on the latest episode of SWF Showdown in an eight women's battle royal. It was uh, eight newest signees to the maidens division. And it was Malaysia... And Amaya Fox, I believe, in the final two. No, I'm sorry. It was uh, Malaysia and Aliyah Marie, the final two. And there's no love loss between those two ladies. They went at it for a few minutes before Malaysia gets the upper hand and throws Aliyah Marie over the top rope from the turnbuckle. And she won that eight maiden battle royal. And now, folks, she is going to be taking on the women's champion in a non-title match. Is she going to be able to squeak out a victory against Veronica Haas? Or is the eerie Veronica Haas going to continue her reign over the maidens division? Let's find out right now. Center of the ring, and Veronica starts things off by slamming. Malaysia to to the mat. My goodness. And again, is she going for it a second time? That sure looks like it. Oh my gosh. And now Veronica's got Malaysia up by her head. Look at this. Snap suplex to the challenger here. Veronica not holding anything back, just going at Malaysia here. Oh! Malaysia, though, not ready to give up, but Veronica says, no, ma'am. Catches the leg and blasts her with a big clothesline. And again, center of the ring. Side leg sweep there from the champion. Up. Brings Malaysia up to one knee with a big right hand. And no, Malaysia pushes her off. Oh, headbutt there by Veronica. Good Lord. Malaysia grabs Veronica by the head. Nice snap, Marin. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Knee to the back. Does not feel good at all. She's got the arms crossed around the neck area. Is Veronica going to be able to work her way out of this? Malaysia really squeezing it, putting it on Veronica here. And she's able to get out, flips her over. Good grief. How's that going to affect Veronica not being able to breathe very well? And it doesn't seem like it's going to affect her at all. She grabs Malaysia by the hair and throws her across the ring. And now look, the turnbuckle is gone. The ref did not see it at all. 
neck breaker from Veronica. And she is going to the top rope. What are we going to see here from the champ? Oh, my. We're going to see the champ land face first in the mat. Look at that. Unaffected kip up head scissors. One, just a one count on Malaysia. I don't think I've ever seen that move before. Very interesting and very innovative from Veronica. She rakes the eyes of Malaysia. Veronica slides out of the ring. Goes to catch her breath a little bit. Back in. And she's met with big forearm kick and a sweep from Malaysia. Nice combination there on the champ. Malaysia now. Look at that super kick right to the chin of the Maidens champion. And now she's got her up, but nope. It doesn't look like Veronica Haas with a reversal. Man, what a super kick that was by Malaysia. Oh, well, folks, that might be it. Face first, no. Veronica misses the kick. Into the corner she goes. Malaysia now picking Veronica up and putting her on the top rope. Oh, boy. This may not be good. Reversal, though. Elbow to the face. Veronica with the cross body. Center of the ring. What a move that was. And she checks out her handiwork. What a diving cross body. She goes for the pin. One. No. Perhaps had she gone for the pin immediately, we would have seen a victory there. But giving Malaysia just the split second to breathe. And look at this. Going up top. Veronica needs to turn around. Elbow drop as Veronica lays back down to catch her breath. She catches an elbow right across the chest. Sending Veronica now into the turnbuckle. Look at this. Wrench. Oh, and a slap. Are we going to see it? Nice drop kick. What a move by Malaysia. Very athletic. Very agile. The champ could be in a bad way. Veronica crawls her way to one side. Malaysia, oh, taunts the crowd. Look at this. Malaysian face buster. That might be it. Is she going to sneak out a victory over the champion? No, not quite. Veronica Haas kicks out. Malaysia now dropping elbows right across the top of the head of Veronica. Picks her up to her feet now. Veronica stops the punch. Delivers a forearm. And a jawbreaker. Playing some defense right now. This could be it. Drops Malaysia right on her head. And that could be the one, two, three, folks. The ref gets down to count. And just like that, your Maidens champion defeats Malaysia. What a fight that was. It looked like... Veronica Haas was in total control, but then Malaysia sort of comes back, regains the momentum. Look at this drop kick from bouncing from middle to top rope. Great move, and the Malaysian face buster right there on the Rebellion logo. Could have been it, but instead, Mal uh, excuse me, Veronica Haas kicks out at two. And delivers, oh gosh, the Emerald Flosion, I believe that is, right on her head. And ladies and gentlemen, Veronica Haas, your Maidens Champion, gets the victory here in her first match since crowning achievement. Well, folks, we have quite an interesting matchup here in our co-main event of the evening. As you know, Calypso, Kid Hades, these two gentlemen are feuding right now. They're going at it for that elite championship, which, of course, is held by Calypso. But tonight, here on Rebellion, Kid Hades and Calypso are going to have to try and work together in a tag team matchup. That's right. 
the elite champion and his co-star of crowning achievement, Kid Hades, as we as he makes his way down to the ring. These two guys are gonna team up against the newest signees of SWF. And we saw them last week or on the, on the last edition of Showdown. They're gonna be taking on Dino D and STC. They are aggression. But Ken, Kid Hades, and Calypso put their differences aside for this matchup and try and get a victory here over Aggression, who have been teaming together for quite some time. Kid Hades and Calypso have only faced off against each other. Are they gonna be able to coexist? I'm not quite sure. Calypso, I'm not so worried about. Your elite champion is your, your, your champion for a reason. Kid Hades, a little bit of the wild card. Who knows what could happen? As we see Calypso making your way down to the ring. He is your SWF Elite Champion. Look at that, that gold right there. Beautiful, beautiful belt. As I said, he won that in a victory over Kid Hades at Crowning Achievement in the finals of the Elite Championship Tournament. As this Is this man going to be able to work with a person he's defeated we'll have to find out and see there they stand side by side in the ring so far so good these two adversaries haven't gotten at each other's throats just yet. Their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, Dino D and SDC. Together they have formed aggression. And they, unfortunately, in their debut matchup, faced off against the Fallen Kingdom. Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black where the Fallen Kingdom ended up getting the victory but it was one hell of a matchup one hell of a fight these two gentlemen put up can they get one over the champion and his challenger or will the challenger and champion be able to work together and get a tag team victory over aggression let's find out right now Fans are on their feet. Look at it. Look at. Okay, the match didn't even get started before Kid Hades tagged himself in. And Calypso saying, whoop de doo. Let Kid Hades go in here and get beat up. What a. That was pretty interesting. I mean, we didn't even get started yet. And there's already animosity. Look at this. What a move by SDC. Nice job, that power bomb, that rebounding power bomb. And he's going to send. Oh, SDC into the corner. He's going to hold him. No, oh my goodness. Kid Hades taught, goes after SDC. And he moves. Look at this. Baseball kick takes out the champ and the challenger. Oh my gosh. That is not going to bode well for these guys. And Aggression might sneak the victory out. SDC now picking Kid Hades up. No, he went for a, a knee. Hades able to block it, going right into a sharpshooter. Look at this. And he's able, SDC is able to get to the ropes. My, my. How interesting that was. They looked 
to be working together for a split second. SDC moves and Kid Hades plants one right on Calypso. Nice diving DDT. Wow. Interesting, interesting development. SDC fights out of the carry and drops Kid Hades right down onto the mat. Oof. Knee to the chest. If I'm Calypso, I'm not sure I'm even tagging in. Yeah, I'm 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 thinking I would just hang out and watch Kid Hades get strung up across the top rope. These two guys will face off at the next pay-per-view. Hades now being drugged to the corner. And no, just as he gets there, Hades is able to work himself out of the hold. Shaking the cobwebs loose. Only to get Fireman carried by SDC. In the corner now. Big shot to the face. And a running knee. That bicycle knee right to the chin. Into the corner he goes. Look at this. Look at this. Got him up. And oh my goodness. What a maneuver that was. And is that yep going for the pin? I'm not sure if I'm Calypso. I'm even caring. And he doesn't look to be. And that is it. Calypso lets Kid Hades get beat up and eat the pin. Wow. What an interesting matchup this has been and here comes Calypso he's got some issues with Kid Hades no way man we're not doing this you just you just blasted me right in the face with a forearm and Calypso leaves the ring disappointed in this matchup Well, here we go, folks. Our main event of the evening is a match that opened crowning achievement, and it is Jay Wolf versus Bruiser Brad. Now, Jay Wolf managed to get the victory over Bruiser Brad at crowning achievement, and since then, these two gentlemen have kind of been at each other's throats um, backstage and on Twitter. These two guys are by far the biggest gentlemen in um, SWF. And right now they are trying to prove who the biggest and baddest is in the SWF. Bruiser Brad seems to think he is the biggest and baddest simply because he has the fallen kingdom at his back. Well, Jay Wolf doesn't need anybody at his back, he says. He is the lone wolf. And as his shirt says, it's a full moon. And these two guys are going to battle it out to round out our evening here on Rebellion. Jay Wolf stepping over the top rope, looking out over the crowd. They are fired up to see this matchup. A rematch at the pay-per-view. And uh, as I said, that's what got this whole thing started. So who's going to come out on top? We're going to have to... Wait and see. Well, here we go as Brad, excuse me, as Jay waits in the ring for Brad and he sneaks up from behind him. Bruiser Brad with a big shot to the back of the head. Come on, ref. I don't know what the ref can do with these two giants in the ring. My goodness. Bruiser Brad sneaking up on Jay Wolf. Surprisingly, the rest of the Fallen Kingdom has not come out. I would have assumed they would all be ringside. Oof! Big shot to the stomach of Brad. But when um, when one of the members sneaks up on their opponent, probably being ringside would uh, give some things away, I would think. Hanging Jay up on the second rope. Look at this. Knee to the back. And really wrenching across those ropes. Oof. Big shot there from these two giants. These two gentlemen also faced off at crowning achievement, which sparked this rivalry here. Jay Wolf gets the victory at 
uh, at Crowning Achievement. That was the opening matchup of the pay-per-view. Jay Wolf gets that victory. The ref begins the count. Bruiser Brad stays in the ring. And now Jay's starting to stir. My goodness. Jay now into the headlock from Brad and an elbow across the head. The count has restarted. And what are these guys doing? Brad looks to be just in, wanting to inflict damage on Jay. And just really doesn't care about this matchup at all. But Jay not going to let that happen. Big clothesline out there on the ramp. And big right hand. Look at this. Got him up. Oh, knee, or excuse me, neck breaker. Double underhook suplex. My goodness. The sheer strength of these two guys. Big knee right to the side of the face. Jay's going to run back to the ring. The ref is at seven, and Jay restarts the count, not wanting to win by count out. He wants to fight. And, oh, jumping face buster from Jay. Jay's seven foot two. The man does not need to jump, yet he jumps and drops Brad right on his face at the base of the ramp there. Look at this. No reversal from Brad. Clothesline. And, oh my gosh, close to four to 500 pound man standing on your stomach. I don't care how big you are. That is not going to feel good. Brad now making his way back to the ring. And he is going to stay there this time. And bruiser Brad has no problems winning by count out as he leaves Jay out there by the ramp. And he runs back in at the last second at 9. And the ref counts to 10 with Jay still laying out there on the ramp. What a cheap victory for Bruiser Brad. First a sneak attack and then leaving Jay out there to get the count out victory. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to how we're going to end Rebellion. Come back next time for Showdown.